firstly greetings of the season for this year happy new year guys and let's kick off 2020 in the best possible note and for that i'm gifting you guys a color profile that i've been working on for the past few months the gloom master 2 is a production quality grade and color profile designed specifically for moody and dramatic shots the key factor of the gloom master is that the color profile lies in the cooler color wheel rather than the warmer tones which means the priority is for colors like blue green and brown as the name suggests this picture profile is best suited for shots like portraits uh, moments in action the glue master comes in two outputs a dot cube lut file which is used for your video compositions and works on any platform that accepts lut files the second is a XMP output which is used for photographs and works with Photoshop and Lightroom primarily. This next part of the video is going to show you exactly how to use the LUT and the color preset so that you get the most out of your shot. Make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video for the download link and let's jump into our PC to know more. Now that you've downloaded the file, simply extract it to find two folders. One for video, one for photo. Let's start with the LUT file over here. I have a bunch of footage over here that I'd like to try this on. We're gonna use Lumetri color effect for this tutorial today. Drag Lumetri, drop it here. Open the creative panel and for the look over here, we're gonna use the Gloom Master 2.0. As you can see right off the bat, it provides excellent results, but fine tuning is always suggested. The temperature and tint slider is key in getting the best output for the Gloom Master. For this example, I'd like to increase my temperature and bring the tint towards the green shade. I'm going to decrease the highlights a little further and add in a little more of shadows. You can always control the intensity of the LUT using the intensity slider. Here's the before and here's the after. For this example as well, I I would like the tint to go towards the greener tone just like this and probably take the intensity to about 70%. Here's the before and here's the after. As you can see in this example, the LUT handles highlights and shadows really well. This is a shot from my recent travel to Goa and I'm going to try bringing the similar look that I had in the film. Here's the before and here's the after. Let's look at the workflow for After Effects. The process is absolutely the same. You can use the LUT by using Apply Color LUT. But this effect lacks control and I prefer to use the Lumetri color instead. Like the previous one, we are going to select a LUT for the shot. Let's try a different color tone for this example. I'm going to increase the tint slightly and then probably probably increase the temperature as well. Here's the before and here's the after. If you're using a previous version of Lightroom, provided is a LR template for the older versions where, where the XMP is not accepted. To import it is very simple. You can right click, user presets, import, select your LR template and there we are. Let's switch on the before and after. You can use the wide variety of settings that Lightroom offers to tweak your photo. Here's another example for a portrait picture that I shot in Goa. With a click of a button you already have your colors set to the exact tone. You can further adjust it because I always like to fine tune my images as one preset cannot satisfy the requirements of each and every photo. We are in Photoshop now and Photoshop has Camera Raw, an exceptional tool to process images. Use the filter, Camera Raw filter. This new preset has never been easier. Go to Load Settings. You will have the Gloom Master 2 XMP file. Open and your settings are already arranged. You can further control it 
to fine tune the image. And that's how you use the Gloom Master. Let me know your thoughts and if you do use it, consider tagging me so that I can see the work that you produced. Happy holidays and until next time.